Hello fellas. Welcome back to Top 5 Choices, today's video I am gonna do a detailed review and pick the top 5 best smartwatches under $200, 2021, after doing proper researches, we came to the conclusion that meets the best in terms of overall. Kindly leave a like if you find this helpful, and I'd appreciate if you subscribe to my channel and turn on post notifications if you haven't. We will be also providing affiliates link to purchase from Amazon. Kindly use to for best offers and purchase from anywhere in the world. We'll be back with more videos. Firebolt Talk BSW004 is a Bluetooth calling smartwatch with a 44mm touchscreen. And, it has a sturdy design including an IPX7 waterproof rating. The highlighted features of the smartwatch are health-centric sensors like SPO2, a 24 hours heart rate tracker, and a blood pressure monitor. Also, it offers 10 days of battery backup. Firebolt Talk smartwatch has a sturdy circular dial with a metallic finish. And, it has comfortable removable straps available in green, white, and black color options. Besides, it has a light body weight of 60 grams which makes it comfortable to pun on for a long time. As for the display, the Bolt Fire Talk Bluetooth smartwatch uses a 44mm bevel curved full touch screen display. The green strap variant looks quite stylish for a budget smartwatch. But it was not the most comfortable to wear. The watch has 1.55 inch HD display with 320 asterisk 360 resolution and is bright enough for use, no matter the lighting conditions. The watch animations are quick, it responds quickly to touch, and worked smoothly during my usage period. The user interface is easy to understand as well. Smartwatches at times can be frustratingly slow, or tend to freeze, which was never an issue here. You can press the button on the side to access the entire menu or swipe right from the watch face to access some key features such as workouts, your daily step count, heart rate. The demand for budget smartwatches and fitness trackers grew tremendously once the lockdown was lifted in India in May. Huami, a brand which is popularly known for its Amazfit smartwatch series, launched a bunch of smartwatches in the BIP series, rugged and retro style. And, later the company unveiled the cheapest smartwatch in the BIP series, the BIPU. The Amazfit BIPU is the company's third smartwatch in the sub-5000 rupees segment after the BIPS and BIPS Lite. The Amazfit BIPU, although cheaper than the other two BIPS wearables, comes with some great features that were even absent on the BIPS Duo. For starters, you get an LCD screen as compared to the transflective screen which is sharper and brighter. The screen size has also got a slight bump to 1.43 inch TFT panel. The Amazfit BIPU Pro is a budget smartwatch and the design is very minimalistic. In fact, it is the same as the BIPU, including the weight, bezels, button layout, and sensor placements. The BIPU Pro is available in black, green and pink color options. We're using the black variant for our review. The wearable is also quite thick, measuring 11.4 mm, but not heavy on your wrist at just 31 g. You get a pair of pre-attached straps that can be easily swapped with any other 20mm strap. The default strap is made of silicone rubber material and we had no issues wearing it for longer durations. To get the perfect fit the strap offers 14 holes, and the interlocking system makes the watch sit in place firmly. On the side of the device, you get a button that performs a few operations. The Rayarm Watch S features a 47mm aluminium case that is 12mm thick, making it a bit chunkier than their first watch, and it's heavier at 48G2. That's paired up with a pretty standard looking 22mm silicone strap that comes in a choice of black, green, blue, or mustard options. People with skinny wrists should not have much trouble here. The display spans 1.3 inches in diameter with an above-average resolution of 360x360. 360. 
The LCD touchscreen also has Gorilla Glass 3 protection on top. The screen offers great colors and an incredible brightness of 600 nits, something that even the Rayarm Watch S Pro can't match. This was possible because of the LCD backlight arrangement. The downside is that the blacks aren't always as inky as OLED displays. Thus, there's also no always-on display functionality. For every other time, the raise to wake was adequate. There's also an ambient brightness sensor at the 59 mark on the tachymeter which was always quick to adapt. The screen responds to touches very well and seems responsive too, be it for swipes or taps.